And welcome back. Time for this week's Capitol Report with Pat McGuigan of CapitalBeatOK.com. Pat, Republicans have controlled the state government for the last several years. They've had a clear edge in statewide elections for some time. Now it looks like that last barrier is about to fall. We're talking about voter registration. Is this important, not important, mean a lot, mean a little, nothing? Um, it is a transformation. It marks a transformation that's nearing its completion. Uh, that's one way to put it. I do think it means a lot, especially so long as a good chunk of the remaining Democrats continue to support Republicans, uh, at least frequently. Um, the percentage of registered voters, the actual, the actual number, by the way, fell, and that's normal after, a pre after a, uh, an election cycle when the voter rolls get cleaned up in the odd year like they did last year. But anyway... Republicans in 13, 2013, constituted 41.4% of all registered voters. They now constitute 43.2%. Democrats were, in 2013, 47.2%. They are now 44.8%. Wow. So you're down to the last couple of percentage points and then the transformation really will be complete. Independents holding their own, by the way, at about 12% of the Oklahoma electorate. Uh, not an unusual number for recent years, but a high number by traditional standards. So the independents are another important factor. And again, the independents often vote for Republicans. So I don't know how significant it is, but numbers, I think, tell a lot. You know, not just the fact that all statewide elected officials are now Republican, but that underlying that, Republicans are now approaching an absolute plurality of all registered voters. Well, who would have thought uh, just, you know, well, when we were young, 20 years yeah, ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, you just recently uh, finished reading a lot of emails, a lot of details um, about the Fallon administration from the Fallon administration on prison reform. One more time, is there... Anything that's going to change in Oklahoma prison policy, do you think? Uh, I hope so, and uh, I'll get to that in just a second. On the emails, you know, the credit here goes to the Oklahoma and the Tulsa World and the Associated Press that did one open records request, and then my uh, friends and colleagues at Oklahoma Watch out of Tulsa, which is a different group than my Oklahoma Watchdog, but Oklahoma Watch also did an open records request, and I read hundreds of emails and exchanges. It's very clear from reading those that conservatives who are now running the government of Oklahoma are slow playing the reforms that were enacted in 2012 uh, and signed by Governor Fallon which gave a lot of us a lot of hope that we would begin to find practical effective data proven alternatives to long incarceration for nonviolent offenders including drug offenders now permeating the emails within the Fallon administration was a fear of being labeled soft on crime um, if they su supported implementation. Further pe uh, permeating those emails uh, was a disdain because uh, President Obama has supported some similar uh, reforms. So they see this as a losing issue politically. They see it as a losing issue. They, they, they're afraid of being tagged liberal. Now this would be Let's put it this way, I know the national conservatives who have fought uh, for this issue for three decades. A lot of them are friends of mine, and I'm not aware of anyone in the Fallon administration that's in a position to question the conservative credentials of those people. Andy Sparopoulos of Oklahoma City University said, it's tragic that we're watching what could be the slipping away of an opportunity that was very unusual in historic terms to bring left, right, and center together around needed reforms in policy. And Sparopoulos said, hey, when you have a liberal who agrees with you, that's great, go to work. Uh, this is something where Republicans could be in the driver's seat but get a lot of help from caring agencies and others who have worked on these issues for decades. Mm. So I, I'm, now, it's gonna either happen this year or not. Mary Fallon will decide to implement justice reinvestment this year or the opportunity will be lost for some time to come. All right. Well, you can read more about these and other topics at CapitalBeatOK.com. For Pat McGuigan, I'm Alex Cameron. Have a great day.